shots for this next little masterpiece. I'm out in Bodega Bay, California for the Bodega Bay Fisherman's Festival. And we're gonna try to talk to some fishermen, but I don't know how that's gonna go because my understanding of fishermen is they're a little bristly, you know? They're not the easiest guys to uh, really open up. We'll see how this goes. This is Marco the Magician. Oh, are we on? We Hi, are. Mom. Hi, Dad. We are rolling. I'm a kooky spaceman, captain of a spaceship, USS Arcturus. Think Enterprise. As I used to tell Kirk, after all, Jim, I am half human. Renaissance Fair? Fisherman's Festival. This is the Fisherman's Festival. I must have taken a wrong turn. Well, they'll probably let me in. I hope so. Okay. It would be their loss. Also, the official magician of the... Uh, wait, what am I making? Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. Whoa, you do have to have super lungs to blow these up. Oh, now no. we're cooking with gas. <laughs> okay, the world's longest hot dog. All right, here we go. No, don't burn. This is real magic. I mean, yeah. I, I'm getting behind the scenes. I can see that this yeah. is, there is... You can edit this out there's later. There's no funny business going on here. What this do you use for the editing? The real deal. Yeah, I am the real deal. Okay, I fixed it. I'm Marco the Magician. It's all part of the show part. Uh, part. Prepare. The world's longest hot dog balloon. Now, wait a minute. What? What is that? It's a little. That's mini, impossible. A little How do you get a ship dog. in a bottle? Oh, yeah. Who's the real deal? It's the real deal. Who? Marco the magician. Woo! <laughs> Go up to the last hippie.me. <laughs> Buy a couple tickets. They're a buck. Help us get this film made. I love Dana. Stop by just to see me. Found a gold mine. Support Dana, support the last hippie.me. I'm Marco the Magician at your service. Yeah. Man, that was horrible time on that scene. One more, one more, one more. Hey, thank you, young man. I got my big login saws. And I went back in and I cut everything to length. He picked it all up with the excavator. I drug it all down with the with the mini track loader. I'm putting in over 2,000 foot of fence, seven foot deer and rabbit, all hand dig, carrying the concrete one sack at a time with on my shoulder. Why 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 not just use a wheelbarrow? You can't go up a hill like that with a freaking wheelbarrow. Uh, and there's that bird rock, what they call it. That's where the Washingtons are in the sand, not in the mud. Just don't use fish heads, use chicken. There's okay. that one. All they had was Lagunitas. Damn, dude, thank you. Okay, this is cheers. Blue Moon? Yes, that is Blue Moon. I gotta go get mine. Hey, cheers, Mike. A voto sante. <laughs> Oh, I'm French. Uh, around Montesson, a little suburb about 20 miles outside of Paris. These guys may once make. Yeah, these guys right here are making fun of me. Good to meet you. We're going to go check out the boats. All right, partner. Okay. If, you, if I hadn't been standing there, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Where do you get these old buoys? I'll either find them on the beach or they're donated by fishermen. Everyone seems to have them around here. <laughs> yeah, well, we have got a lot of crab fishermen, so. Yeah. You know, during, uh, pots that get cut off and stuff, if nobody collects the buoy, I work at the marina, so if nobody collects the buoy and it sits there for a couple months, I might pick it up. A couple months? Yeah. And the longer you wait, the more vintage they look. This one's got a barnacle on it that's pretty large. That's a pretty decent barnacle for, I mean, a, for a buoy. That thing like... was sitting out there forever like that. <laughs> yeah. I just scrubbed off the moss. <laughs> what are you up to today? Doing some vlogging. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, bud? Reese. Reese Dana. Yeah. 
Pardon? Dana. Dana, nice yeah. to meet you, Dana. Nice to meet you. This is my son, Royce. This is Veronica. Hi, hey, Royce. Hey, guys. I we got some dinosaurs. I work down at Spud Point. Oh, cool. We got clams. <laughs> what? I don't know if clams pay the bills. No, not commercially. Yeah. No, we need viable fisheries. Yeah. I need to chase, chase after okay, my red Reese. rat. Dude, awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dana. Okay, check you later. <laughs> what a guy. All right, where's Dad? Here you go. Dad, now let's pick one hat. <laughs> no, he's got it. He's got it down. This is well. For this is for Mom. Oh. Okay. okay. That's for me. <laughs> he's giving me the one on his head. Ravens, there you go. Yeah. Okay. I think I gotta get these in. The Am I getting carried away here? <laughs> is that a banana slug? It is a banana slug. Refrigerator too. magnet. Very good. No way. All right, come on, man. Tell us about it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is literally my YouTube channel. This is video number two. Oh, so what do I have to do? Nothing. <laughs> Just tell us about Alaska. <laughs> so where in Alaska exactly? I'm in Milchik, Alaska. It's like 45 miles north of Homer uh -huh. on the Kenai Peninsula. Okay. You take a lot of pics. Damn, look at that. Yeah. Let me see that. Wait, go, go back to that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Wait, take a so you can... <laughs> Yeah. Wow. That's like barely any hill. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, here's another, a different one. <laughs> That's a badass camera too. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Here's another one. Shoot him with 410. Snake Charmer shotguns. Wow. <laughs> Snake Charmer shotguns? Yeah, little 410. Do you, uh, do you have a picture of that? I'm about to catch the magic show. Dude, he, okay, he actually looks legit though. He looks like he's probably a damn good magician. He does look like actual. Yeah. I talked to him yesterday. That's how he pronounces it. It's not Solar. It's like Dr. Solar. Did you do an interview about him? Yeah, I mean, like, well, I talked to him yesterday and uh, I could just tell by the way he asked me, like, do you want to film the show? Like, the, just the tone of his voice when he asked if I could, when, when I started talking to him with the camera, I could tell that like he probably doesn't want me to film it. Do you think that he's probably? things that make life worthwhile. Isn't that beautiful, my friends, huh? Isn't that beautiful? That is not made from oil. No, it's a natural fiber. It's called silk. It comes from a worm. <laughs> That's cute. This must be Chloe's jacket home. Christian, what's that? Your tag's sticking out. Yeah, what's it say here? Coat designed in America. Cotton grown in Bangladesh. Outer garment made out of oil from Saudi Arabia. Sent to Mexico for sewing and assembly. Sent to China for further packaging. Reshipped back to America. We picked up in solid waste distribution centers dotted across the land to underemployed and certainly underpaid Americans at all costs. Oh, all costs to the corporations. That's amazing. It's like it's been around the world three times, huh? You were trying to get one of my birds, were you? All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, come on, there it goes, there it goes. Hey, come on, come on, I'll take that applause. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, right, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're basically rained out here. The camera's getting pretty wet. Time to make it a wrap. Came out to see some fishermen. Saw a few, mostly some uh, magicians. 
and uh, they were pretty cool too. All right. I'm all the I do we watch we don't have cable. We watch YouTube, that's all we yeah. watch. Oh we watch I'm I when I look at like yeah, I'll fuck it like this. Like, this. Oh, Dr. Solar's famous elliptic asiatic appendicular called nerve cord elixir. Piece of Hindu scabble path me. There you go, buddy. Oh.